Do you think corporations are people? No. 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 <laughs> Absolutely not. It's a different animal. They're not people. They don't have the same rights as people. I've worked in corporate America for years. I don't think, uh, I, don't, I think they're just inanimate objects. They don't uh, have any living or breathing uh, rights as I do. They do everything people do except breathe, die, and go to jail for dumping 1.3 million pounds of PCBs into the Hudson River. Most people understand that democracy is for citizens, for real life human beings. Most people understand that corporations are not people. And yet, the United States Supreme Court in the Citizens United case has now just determined that private for-profit corporations are citizens armed with political rights. For more than a hundred years, laws have stood to limit corporate donations to political candidates and campaigns. For more than a hundred years. This is about the people they represent who live in a democracy and who deserve a political system where their views and their interests are not completely drowned out by corporate spending. What is a corporation? What is a corporation? Well, a corporation has always been defined as a matter of law, as an artificial entity. Up until the Roberts Court, we have an unbroken line of precedent going back to the beginning, saying that a corporation is something that's been created by the people, by the states, for the purposes of achieving our objectives as people. And now suddenly the Supreme Court has turned it into a Frankenstein monster and said that this creature of the people, this creature of the state, can intervene in our politics and spend its money as it pleases. That's an extraordinarily dangerous thing. Good. What's the matter? Give them the In 2008, the Fortune 100 corporations had $600 billion in profits. Now imagine that those top 100 companies decided to spend a modest 1% of their profits to intervene in our politics and to get their way. Well, that would mean $6 billion or double what the Obama campaign spent, the McCain campaign spent, and every candidate for House and Senate. Corporations have free speech. But they can't speak like you and me. They don't have mouths or hands. Instead, they, they must speak with the only way they can, through billions and billions of dollars. And I think if we were to imagine a world where corporations could spend a never-ending source of their corporate treasuries on campaigns, on elections, and on public policy, then uh, the people would completely lose our voice uh, where we thought we actually had a voice here in this democracy. We, it would just be gone. They're getting away with giving so much money now. Yeah, I don't think you need corporations directly funding campaigns. Corporations are only interested in making a profit for themselves. They're not driven by the American people for the American people. They're driven for profit. That kind of squashes the little guy. And I, and I don't think that's, uh, that was in the our founding fathers' ideas when they wrote the Constitution. The Supreme Court has had its say. Now it's our turn. To take matters into our own hands, to enact a constitutional amendment that once and for all declares that uh, we the people govern our elections and our campaigns, not we the corporation. Now is the time for us to put in motion a great popular movement to amend the Constitution to defend democracy against the champions of corporate plutocracy. Go to freespeechforpeople.org and find out how you can help us reclaim the First Amendment for people and defend our democracy.